people. Well, we're not going to. Hello and welcome to another Division video. In this video, yeah, it's not that long ago as we got 1.8 and I do really enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it as well. And I thought one of the first things I will do for you is of course update my guides on these legendary missions. How you can finish them solo with a skill build. And to be honest, yeah, as I mentioned already in the last one on Napalm, it has not that many things have changed. So you can use the same strategy. The most important changes for you is that they changed the timer on the sticky bomb. So you don't have a delay anymore if you use your sticky. And that's really nice, as you will see. And to be honest, it's the first time I do this mission solo in 1.8. And yeah, let's try it, how it works. And of course, just explain it at the same time what you should look at if you run this mission. And let's change this one. That would be not the best one. And I would say, let's go into it. So first of all, my preferred spot is the one behind here. So the first thing you should try to do is just kill one guy with his sticky, should be not too hard, and then throw your seekers from back here. Always have a look because there are many grenadiers that you can move early enough and you don't get hurt by the, uh, by the grenades. And yeah, that's one change they did and another one of course is the change to stamina, the scaling. So you do have now much more toughness or health, a larger health pool. And that should it make a lot easier for you to finish this mission or for all of us. For all of us to finish this mission solo. So as you saw that that part was a little bit tricky because they tried to rush. Just use the sticky and that's the nice thing about the delay. That you don't have the delay anymore. And Otherwise you can just throw a grenade there as well. As you saw, already the second wave is coming out. And then you saw the first guy, of course, I tried to focus, as usual, is the healer. So try to get the healer with the sticky as fast as possible. If he had hided more than now, then I would try to get the box, because he placed just one box. And if you can get the box down, then it's pretty easy, because, yeah, then you can just throw your seekers and your stickies and they die. One after each other, pretty fast. And you see, for the, from the feeling, <laughs> really from the feeling, it uh, feels a lot easier, this first part. For me, honestly, it was almost the hardest one. You could be lucky and RNG was with you or not and it could take you a while or even do it twice but as you see now it went really fast and I'm lucky to get some medkits because I didn't restock after the last one I did so just good luck so far went pretty well and yeah probably the ones you saw my previous guide in one seven I did already a run with uh, to show you how you can finish this mission just using seeker and the turret so a little bit the easier version i would say not the fastest one and i decided to do it first with the sticky because the changes are higher and you can still use the same strategy if you would like to run it with a turret and seeker but of course if you would like to see an updated version how i do it with a Stick and seeker, a uh, stick and seeker. I have to concentrate. Sorry, uh, turret and seeker. Just let me know, and I will do an updated version of this one, of course, too, for you. This part here should be easy, as you saw. Just push the button, have a look that they don't spot you, and go back on this cover here, and you should be pretty fine. Nope. change my gun that I get predatory on it and get a little heal although you get heal as far as soon as you're not longer in a combat but I get a bit a little bit more so the next part just go behind this cover this edge 
you can shoot sticky or seeker in front here doesn't matter it depends which one I got I got back first uh, but honestly it doesn't matter that much just go back here behind these barrels and have a look if they plan to shoot a grenade then just go a little bit away and these just build from this spot and it should be pretty fine and I guess we can do this pretty fast as well as you saw he planned to shoot a grenade you always see the sign over his head so that's why I jumped in the back I jumped back and he didn't hit me boom 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 yes that's music so not that many left just the two one or two snipers I guess yeah two snipers <coughs> should be death with the seekers to be honest yeah they are and then go to the next spot as you see now we're in combat I don't know why now we get health back so for this one I changed it a little bit just throw a flame grenade open so they don't rush you back here they get stopped by the fire and you have enough time to go back up here release your sneakers and the shotgunners should be death and then should be but they are not doesn't matter that much and then start working on the heavies that's funny get some stacks, that's nice and they're almost death as you see so I just save my sticky for now because I think I can get them with my seeker and I will need or I need the sticky for the next part try to get some stacks where the hell oh. Okay, my seeker disappeared. Stacks are gone, doesn't matter very much. Anyway, <laughs> would be nice if I could get the stacks, but it's not a must, so just go ahead to the next part and you will see why. So, go back here and cover, change to your sticky, sticky the front of the stairs. As soon as they're in there, blow it up and you see you hurt them a lot. We plan to shoot a grenade, so jump back. Aim sucks. Just one guy left. Bye bye. And done already. So this is a way you can do it pretty fast, just take it the stairs. One thing you have to change compared to 1.7, as I said, the sticky detonation is much much earlier, so you don't have the delay, you have to plan it different. But as you saw, it was the first time, and I think all in all, it went pretty well. Here the same, check if you can hit the healer. Yes, I got him. Use a flame grenade here as well. Ah. Because with the flame grenade we, you can stop the shotgunners from rushing and I think the sticky, uh, the sticky, the secret got them. That's nice. And you can work on the other NPCs down there. There are two snipers on the top. So the little bit more safe way you can just stand here and try to get them like this or you can go behind this wall and then aim from this spot as you see here they don't shoot you but you can shoot them and that's the thing I did already in the video how you can aim the best with a sticky aim first with the gun and as soon as it's red then you know when you change it the exactly same position to your sticky 
you will hit them as well. So next part, go back here in cover, release your speakers, block the way of this guy with a grenade. Should be death. Should be death and just the uh, agent left. And the agent you can get with your sticky bomb. Pretty fast and easy as well. I just wait quickly until I get my health back and my skills. So then go on the right side, go on the top. You don't have to go too far. Just grab aggro, shoot a little bit. The bad thing is if they rush on this part here, but the one guy decided to go down there. So then let's go back out. Otherwise you can just stand on the same spot as I showed you before to kill the shotgunners and the agent. But it looks like that some guy rushed up here or down here and then you're pretty much dead if they come the up the stairs from the left side behind you. So that's the most, that's the bit safer way I would say how you can do it. Just go back on this spot, uh, take care of the grenadiers on the grenades as before and the uh, LMG guys they rush sometimes that fast like using bolt so be careful about them as well now they shoot a grenade so jump back there's one on the top and two downstairs should be that but yeah hard and the last guy okay dodged it. So one thing you should have a look is never go on the right left side here because if you go left here too early then you spawn uh, not around. So you can speed it up a little bit if you go just on the right side. Now it would not matter because these guys here are the last one they spawn. But if you do it too early after you kill the healer then you spawn another round. That's why you should have a look, always go on the right side on this part here. So already checkpoint, that's nice. So let's go to the second part and this part is not that hard too. So the first thing, just try to get a sniper up there. Just throw your seekers inside and you should be pretty safe. So if you kill a lot of them, then you get a second spawn and that's the thing I think it's the dangerous one here on this section the shotgun is the two ones so just make sure that you watch your surroundings all the time and back up if they rush you out here as a kind of lifesaver I just place my not yet because one guy is up there I would like to uh, I I tried to say I place a sticky on the doorway if they came that I can detonate it. But let's do it down here because it could be that they came soon here and this will be my lifesaver. Let's just stand back for the moment. Wait here, watch your moon app. You see pretty fast now they rush. That's the nice thing about the new sticky. And the second one. And otherwise, of course, you can just go farther away back. Wait until you get the seekers and kill them with your seekers as well. It's the more safe way uh, compared to the one I did now. But as I said, I would like to show you the fastest way you can do this by yourself. You see there's a shield guy left up there. Should be not that hard to kill. Just stand in cover back here. Use the seekers and you can stick him pretty well too from this spot. So it should be not that hard. Yeah, he's dead. So let's see how many guys are left. I guess not that many. So we can speed up the second part a little bit. If we go already closer to the door. 
grenade, so jump away. Do they dodge my seeker or... Okay, I guess it's just one guy. So as before, go up here, closer to the entrance. Where is he? Down there. Throw down my seekers and go already to the door. It don't have to be, but yeah. If you struggle sometimes with the time up here, then you can spare some time if you do it like this. But time should be not an issue up here. So just go behind here and cover. Healer should come back on the part up there. So try to get him with his mates up there. Throw your seekers up here because of the snipers. Sometimes they rush here on the back. <coughs> and after you've done this, have a look where the agent is. He's usually there on the right spot I'll show you now. Try to get him with the next sticky. Yeah, it works really well. Somebody's blocking my seeker. Move your ass, you idiot. Ah, that's annoying. Costs a lot of time. And just one guy left. So that's the three steps here. First of all, stick the healer on the floor with his teammates, then throw the seekers up here to get the snipers on the top. And after this, then focus the the H, which is usually here or here, with your next sticky bomb. And try to get him, because he can one-shot you with a seeker, uh, with a sticky bomb, and that's pretty annoying. If you would have to do the last part again, so first door here, place your sticky like this. Then, as you know, you don't have to delay anymore of 1.2 seconds. That's why you have to add this to the previous strategy. One, two, three, four. And detonate it after four seconds instead of three. <coughs> and you should get most of that right at the beginning. As you see, he was already almost dead just from the sticky bomb. Then the next part here. It's a bit harder. Change to a flame grenade or gas that they don't rush you, then release the seeker, open, and one, as soon as your hand is down from the top, then detonate it. Let's see if we got the healer, I hope so, yeah, and just one grenade left it seems like, this is a really nice spot here. And you watch always as usual the head of the sky as soon as the fan is sticky, as uh, sticky great, just jump back. And you should be fine. I think he should be there. Isn't he? Yeah, it is. So second valve done. Let's go to the next one. And if we are lucky, we can kill them with one sticky and one seeker again. And as you see, although they blocked my seeker mines, they get back went pretty well so far so open the valve go in cover that they don't spot you when they came out wait until they are together to detonate and you see almost all of them with just one sticky release the seekers go up here make her ready to turn the valve at 6 30 yeah i guess it's not not the worst time for this year and without the delay on the seeker I guess should be doable with almost yeah if everything went really perfect probably 650 7 so last part here as you see just go in here then place your sticky here and you can get a lot of them right at the beginning you don't have to do it if you don't want to it's a little bit more dangerous of course you can just throw in your seekers Go out to the stairs again and just kill them one by one with your seekers. Grenade. So one more seeker and he should be death as well. And then make ready for the first spawn out of the door. So on this one here, earlier I usually placed my sticky on the door. 
for now I try to place it on the front there as soon as you detonate it you can get a lot of time right at the beginning just go back make your grenade ready that they don't rush you back here tear gas or flame what I didn't check that was kind of stupid I thought I changed to tear gas so that's usually the the spot you want to go here if they rush you too hard okay shot is dead one more guy is coming down here that was kind of stupid why are both alive what okay that was weird anyway I should get my super back anyway pretty fast so don't care that much about this I just save my sticky for later all except one guy's rushing me yeah, I was too late to change to my other grenade this one here it worked the way I want Guys, calm down. Why have you rushed it today? Yeah, and of course he's right behind me. Use aim bolt. So, let's go up already. We should be dead by Seekers. Just save a bit time. That we can place the... Come on. What the hell? <laughs> What's going on with you guys? Let's kill you. So then let's compare it to the other strategy on the door. Oh. Yeah, I think. Ah, no, no, no. First one is definitely better. I didn't do damage at all. So definitely place the sticky on the floor and not on the door anymore. That's the thing that changed. And the rest of them just tried them to kill. Yeah, of course. Come out here. I hate you, Mr. Agent. Flame grenade. I really don't want to rush that they rush down here because I need the time to prepare for the bosses. So that's why I try to make them stop rushing with the grenade. Let you see it worked. One alive. Okay, down. Then you have to be fast. Drink water. Change the gun with the right talent. Place the sticky going cover that they don't spot you oh that was messed up and blow it off but I guess I got both of it so it worked although I had the stupid move here I went out of cover I don't know how or why but try to stay in cover that they don't spot you and then they should stand all together and you can get all together with one sticky that's really nice but anyway as you see that's the major change so you don't have to plan anymore because earlier you had to detonate the sticky as soon as they were in the middle of the stairs so that the sticky detonated oh my gosh <laughs> right as they went down there but now you can just wait stay in cover wait and detonate it as soon as they're all together down there and it works of course too if you're in a group of two or more just um, stay together in cover place both together the sticky and I think you can do the same as I did now so kill the two annoying healers right at the beginning should work 
Yes, and we did it. The second one too. And for this one, let's go in the elevator. Light is better. So then I just have to say thank you so much for watching. Yes, dust off about after this legendary. Thanks a lot for watching. I do really appreciate if you can leave a like if this was helpful for you guys. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'd be glad to hear from you what you would like to see from my side more, which more build videos, guides from other missions, legendary incursions, whatever, and other requests you have. So don't hesitate to leave a comment. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't done it already. And yes, have fun farming the new gear sets in the next week's global event. And have fun on the game. See you in the next one. Bye bye.